Hi, Dr. Brown. My name is Thomas. Hi, Thomas. When I was a boy, I was diagnosed with ADD, mm -hmm. and I took medication also. Was it helpful? It was somewhat helpful. Mm -hmm. But my uh, mother took me off the medication when I was 10 years old, but I still had problems during my adulthood. Mm -hmm. Does everybody with ADD have problems during their adulthood? You know, it uh, used to be that everybody thought ADD was something that went away when you got into your teenage years. And so they'd stop the treatment. Sometimes because they were afraid that taking that medicine when you're in the teenage years would make things worse for you rather than better. And they thought that symptoms would just go away. But you know why that was? It was because all they were watching was the hyperactivity. What we know now from longer term studies is that out of 10 people who have ADD, seven or eight of them, if they've got it when they're kids, are going to still have it when they're grown-ups. About three out of ten, they seem to outgrow it. And the reason that they thought it went away was all they were watching was the hyperactive behavior, and they didn't realize that a lot of people with ADD, their main problem isn't being hyper or restless, it's not being able to pay attention. And so what happens is often those inattention symptoms, they keep on. And so what we know now is on average, about 7 out of 10 people who have ADHD as kids, they've still got it when they're grown-ups. And for some, the hyperactive and impulsive symptoms do pass on and not give them much trouble as they grow older. But very often, the inattention symptoms tend to persist and make trouble well into adulthood in ways that can interfere with a person's learning and interfere with their job and their social relationships and their family life. ADD doesn't affect just kids. It is an adult problem for a lot of folks.